Hi everyone, uh, in today's video, we will see how you can close a model when we click outside of this model. So we have a model, if we open it, it gets opened. We have a button, if we click on that, it does cl get closed. Now if you open, but if we click somewhere outside of this model, so maybe here, the model gets closed. If we click inside the model, it does not close it, but if we click somewhere outside, it does close the model. So that is how you, uh, we will be building today. We will see how you can check if the user is clicking outside of this model and then we can close this model. So now let's see. So first of all, I will create a button that will open the model. So let me create a button here. And I will add a function to the button which will uh, open the model. And I'll also create a state that will uh, using which we can track uh, if the model is opened or not. And by default, I will set its value as false. And now when we click on this button, then we want the uh, model to be opened. So I'll set it as true here. Now, we need to create the model. So I'll create a file as model.jsx. And I will add some styling here. Now let's import that file here. So yeah, the model is visible in the screen. It's 21. So here we have created a simple model and we have also created a button and we have added some styling to the button. Okay, so now we click on this close model. It doesn't do anything. And so we will create a function here, close model. that will basically close the uh, close the model so and then i will pass it as a prop here and we can extract it here so now if we click on this okay uh, it's still not working and i think that is because so basically we have to render this model component conditionally so when uh, this is model is true, then only we want the component to be rendered. Okay, so here we have rendered this model conditionally. Now if we click on this, it opens the model. Now if we click on this close model button, it does close this model. But here the problem is that, uh, you know, we have to click on this close model button. So if we click somewhere outside the model, suppose here, anywhere in the page, it does not close the model. So now let's see how we can implement that feature. So basically whenever we click somewhere outside of this model, I, we want this model to be closed. So now let's see how we can do that. Okay, so here we have to somehow identify if the user is clicking within the model or with outside the model. So for now, for this will create a user ref hook so i'll create a ref and i will add the ref here now we will create a function check click outside so that will basically check if the user is clicking outside of the model so we'll f and we'll add this uh, event listener uh, function with the entire page so i will use use effect hook for that so i will add this uh, event listener function with the entire page so i am using document add event listener and i will add it for mouse down now since this is an event listener function so it takes a parameter called e now what we will do is that so when we are clicking on this dialog now when user clicks something 
so that thing wherever user has clicked so user has clicked outside here or inside that uh, model that thing where user has clicked that we think that thing we can get through the e dot target e dot target okay so now we have to just see if the e dot target value is within this dialog or outside this dialog and that thing we can check so i will add the condition here and first of all we will check if the model is open if the model is open and then so we are already added a reference here ref so we will model ref dot current dot contents e dot target now this part uh, this part this thing if the user is clicking somewhere within this dialog they, then this part will be true now if the user is clicking somewhere outside the dialog outside the model then this condition will be false and that thing we want to catch so we will uh, do that so and in that case we want to close the model and uh, let me refresh the screen open the model click outside so yeah it is closing the model if we click outside it is closing but i think we are getting some error let's see how it is error okay so i guess this is coming as null so i'll i can add a additional condition here now let's see open the model close it open the model now if we click somewhere outside so yeah it is it is actually closing the model yeah so i think yeah it is working so the main thing is that you know uh, and one more modification we can do is that we want only uh, these to be done when you know the model is open then only we want uh, this event listener to add to be added here now as a best practice you can also uh, make sure that you know you can remove the event listener when the component gets unmounted so let's do that so yeah now if we just test it somewhere click click somewhere outside and it is closing the model so basically here the main thing is that so first of all we are wrapping this model so we are wrapping uh, this model within a ref and now whenever we are clicking now that thing we are getting in the e dot target and now we are just checking if that whatever in whatever part user has clicked if that part uh, falls under this model ref or not now if that part falls under this model rep that means this condition is true so we don't want to do anything but if it is if the user has clicked somewhere outside that means this uh, model rep dot current dot contents e dot target that condition becomes false so and we have just reversed it so in that case we want to close the model so that, that is how you can you know uh, create a model which when you click outside then that model gets closed so that is how you can implement that so i hope uh, you have understood this concept but if you have still any doubt or any suggestions please feel free to comment down below thank you